Hi, it's me, Fitch Girlfriend, and I have come with another Game Jam video. Hooray! If you have no idea what Game Jam is, shortly it's a competition between game makers who are supposed to make and submit the game with the theme that is revealed right when the competition starts. And these competitions usually end very quickly, day after the theme is revealed, two days or three days. Sometimes deadlines can be even more extreme. This time I was making the game alongside with T, who you could know from previous Game Jam video, and his friend, who happened to be my fellow countryman. While writing the script, I realized that I might want to add some of my thoughts that visited me through the process of development. Let me see. Oh god, I'm so lost for a steal, what the hell do I do? I have no idea! I'm trash. I'm literally useless. I need to sell my soul to the devil to go back in time and prevent myself from suggesting the damn little there. Seriously, I procrastinate a lot at day one. I did like three backgrounds and prop sprites which happened to be useless. I just want to write that damned fanfic that I started a few days before the game jam. Also, I want to play games really hard. Uh, well, <laughs> not at present. Yes, this time I was rather passive and not motivated. I was also angry all the time cause neurons. And yeah, I almost had a heart attack cause my PC shut down twice without reason. And I heard electricity hissing noises. That's no fun. The themes were kinda... no, They were very basic and it was hard to come up with something original or bizarre. And other participants pointed that out too. Eventually, the voting decided that the theme will be Harvest. Did you smell it? Daddy Wally and other farm games vibe. But we avoided that vibe and went for something more dark and gory. And thus, our body story starts. We wanted to make something grim because, like Nikita said, the word harvest has something terrifying behind it. So, my little baby baby child kid was born, John the Reaper. Their task is to harvest everything that God pleases, cloud to be more specific. If they fail collecting everything and keeping cold members alive, the God destroys the world and kills John. If they manage to, the God will be pacified and will leave him be. I was doing the same thing that I was doing previously, I was doing all dimensions art. Nikita, his friend, was also doing 3D and music with sound effects, he himself was coding and putting it all together. This one was very stressful, for no particular reason, for everyone. I was dealing with all the kinds of insecurity and couldn't sleep peacefully to the day too. Tihas was his sleep right after me, and Nikita... Well, he fought with the fireball model in Blender. It killed him dead. When my dudes were actually doing stuff, I found myself being done with all my work. So I just played games and wrote fanfiction like I wanted, but the crippling feeling of being a disgrace of the team never left me. T has given us a build each time he has added something global to the game. The levels and looks changed a lot since first builds, huh? We didn't rush that much, so we submitted the game at the last day and went to sleep peacefully. And then the voting hell started. Pretty much everyone was okay with their game, some found it nicely polished and stylish, some had difficulties with the bullet hell component of the game, some didn't like how mouse is sensitive. Well, <laughs> no one is perfect. During the voting time we've seen scary, pretty, and... <clears throat> so in the end we got... in the first 10%. Yeah, overall 161st out of 106,600 places. Not bad, that's even closer to the first place than the last time. I'm super proud of the product. Probably we will even turn it into a full game, but who knows. Here the experience sharing ends. After that I will show you some cool stuff which was made for the game. See you next time. <laughs>